Welcome back everybody, my name is Nick930 and today I want to give you guys 5 helpful tips for Rainbow Six Siege. Today's video is going to focus on Habana. Habana is a low armor, high speed attacking operator that can destroy reinforced walls from long distance. Here's 5 tips to help you use her effectively. Number 1. Kairos Sneak Attack Habana's ability allows her to remotely launch sets of thermite breaching pellets that can be detonated remotely. Each set contains 6 pellets in a 3x2 array that is only large enough to allow players to crawl through if the detonation is low enough to the ground. Find the objective room you want to breach and fire one Cairo set in a corner, avoiding any obstructions that might break some of the pellets mid-flight. Don't detonate this first set until you set up a decoy set on the opposite side of the wall or another wall entirely. Fire two sets large enough for players to walk or climb through. Enemies will likely focus on this decoy set as it's most likely an entry point for attackers. Before the enemies figure out what you're doing, crawl through the single set on the far side and catch them off guard. If you're playing secure, this move works especially well. If you're playing against smarter enemies, don't crawl through either hole and instead place claymores facing into the room or just right outside your decoy hole. You might get a free kill as they try to rush your position. Number 2, Jaeger Counter. Jaeger's trophy systems can destroy attackers' grenades in mid-air, making it difficult for players like Fuse to utilize their cluster charge. Communicate with Fuse and ask them to wait before detonating their cluster charge. Open a window into the objective room or a door, and fire your Cairo straight into the room. Each Cairo pellet counts as a single projectile, and it will trigger the trophy systems to fire at each one. Most of the time, this will completely disable the trophy systems. Fuse can then mop up with the cluster charge without any problems. Number 3, Medium Range Combat. Habana excels at medium range combat. Her ability to remotely breach reinforced walls gives her a huge advantage over operators like Thermite. Try attacking objectives from high points like through skylights or on opposite rooftops. After detonating your Kairos pellets, enemies may not be visible through the broken walls, but eventually they'll grow impatient and at least one of them will likely expose themselves for an easy headshot. Just be patient and focus on engaging through your Kairos breach points. I recommend attaching an ACOG to your assault rifle and avoid using the shotgun. Number 4, 3 Breach Points We already talked about making a secondary decoy breach point and using this to your advantage, but what if you don't plan on breaching from that wall at all? Fire all 3 Kairos charges in a random pattern along a long reinforced wall. Make sure the wall you choose has plenty of room to maneuver outside. I don't recommend small outdoor balconies like the one on Border or Skyscraper. Detonate all three at the same time, and then alternate between peeking any of the three holes you made. Your chances of being shot are significantly lower now that the defenders need to guess which hole you're going to pop up from. If a defender does manage to spot you, make sure to relocate and peek from a different angle. Focus on peeking popular camping corners in the objectives. If you have a lot of time to work with, you can take the step a little bit further and launch three different sets of Kairos pellets on three different walls surrounding the objective. This will really make it difficult for defenders to tell where you are and where you're going to peek from next, and it gives the attackers a huge advantage. You may want to make sure that you take out any mirror windows you see too. Try launching underneath the mirror window instead of launching at the mirror window itself. This will give you a point where you can actually vault straight in. And number 5, Murder Holes. This is another tip regarding Habana's Kairos Launcher. You don't need to detonate every Kairos pellet after you've successfully attached them to a reinforced wall. In fact, doing so may end up being detrimental to the success of your team. Think about the angles you're giving yourself, your teammates, and the enemy. Sometimes it may be better to destroy some of your own Kairos pellets to give yourself a safer point to fire through. For example, firing all three Kairos sets against this wall would usually give the defenders a huge hole allowing them to crouch and peek out. But if you destroy the entire top row with your pistol, now there's just a small strip of destroyed wall at the bottom allowing the attackers to easily see the defenders' feet. The defenders can only see outside now if they lay prone, which means an easy headshot for the attackers. You can also set up multiple Cairo sets and destroy individual pellets to make it harder for enemies to see that you're peeking into the objective from different angles. Also, you can use the Kairos launcher to destroy hatches as well, and you only need one of the pellets to destroy the hatch, so be sure to launch one on the hatch and get walls surrounding the objective too to keep them off guard. And that's it for Habana. I hope this video was helpful and I plan on making more videos like this. Be sure to leave a comment below on what you'd like to see next, and be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more Rainbow Six tips and tricks.